every single person from the town. Oh my god! Hey guys, Dennis Machina here. Thanks for hanging out. Today's reaction comes from Crypt TV. It's their latest versus series of their creepy pastas. This is Estelle versus Brute Unchained. But before we get into it, please go over and support everybody involved in making this from the person who narrated it to Crypt TV themselves. I'll leave both their links in the description below. Then go over and support my channel. It's very easy. Just go right below this video. Click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and please give that like button some love because I put up new videos every single day and every little bit of support helps. Without any further ado, let go. It was time for another sacrifice in the town of Mohawk. All, all right, so of Sunny Family Colt. Listening to the sounds of wood breaking, chains rattling, of screams filling the air. The whole town is watching. Oh! As we do when it's time for sacrifice. Harvesting the souls of another new family. I watched my parents look at the house with smiles on their faces. They always warned me not to make friends with any of the new kids in town. They wouldn't be around for long, they'd explain. And then we'd gather, lock the doors from the outside, bar the windows, and release the monster and watch. Tradition, they Brute? called it. A tradition that kept the rest of us safe. That and the devices on our belts. Everyone in town had them. They made sure that the monster knew not to attack us. They kept us alive, my parents explained. And if I ever lost mine, I wouldn't survive the night. We watched and listened, and everyone smiled. Everyone enjoyed the sacrifice. Everyone That's believed. weird. I had seen this too many times. I had watched the blood spray against the window. Okay, that doesn't that sound good. Morning, we would be wiping it away. Painting over the stains, pretending that it never happened. I couldn't take it. It made me sick. The bloodshed, the gore, their smiles. Finally, a normal person. Even the smiles of my parents. I couldn't. I couldn't do this anymore. So I ran. I ran into the woods. Some of the town watched as I did, but most kept their eyes on the house as the sacrifice continued. Of course, I kept running enjoy watching that kind of stuff, screams. so that makes sense. And then I ran some more. I ran and I ran in the dark woods until I hit some A door. A door covered in symbols and locks. Oh, that's brute. Why was there just a door in the woods? So is it Estelle that's killing all the people? Then, a voice rang out from behind me. A woman's voice. Oh, that's Estelle. Don't be scared. Oh, no, no, well, it's not. She said. I looked around and saw her. She was wearing a mask with black dead eyes and drawn-in smile that evoked fear. Don't be scared, she said again. Fear is weakness, and we're not weak, are we? I mean, that's up to interpretation. She said those words. Who was she? And why was she wearing a mask? Good question. In her hands was a book, an old book. As I stared at it, my vision blurred. Then she looked up and said, Brute, Brute, come out of your hole and beat the living black as coal. Uh-oh. The lock fell off the door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. swung open and then a massive... Uh-oh. The brute door in the woods all over again. ...shot out of the door and quickly made its way to the sack. Oh, hello, sir. I had to warn them. Oh. I had to tell them that something was coming. Oh, God. I ran behind the brute. She called out. Fear is weakness. My legs carried me back to the sacrifice, but the brute was nowhere to be seen. I was panting. Trying like, to don't mind me. <laughs> trying to warn someone. Just wandering back in. from a tree onto one of the townspeople. Oh! Oh! And bit his neck. Oh! And blood sprayed everywhere. Oh! Okay! Loudly. The townspeople jumped back as the brute got to its feet. So Estelle's in the house? Move forward, but suddenly a chain wrapped around its neck and What's the monster that's being unleashed inside the house? Or is that just a regular sacrifice? back. Uh-oh. There she was. The little girl. That's Estelle. Estelle, as we called her. I had only seen her through the windows when we performed the sacrifice. Estelle. So that is her. around her eyes. And yet she knew exactly where to send her chains. The brute howled as she wrapped another set of chains around its arms. Ooh. Everyone clutched the devices on their hips, the blinking lights telling them that they were safe. 
Estelle sent another chain around the brute's ankles and brought it down to the ground. Oh shit! Everyone was smiling again. Another sacrifice. Estelle pulled the brute towards her, tightening the chain around its neck. It was then that I saw the woman. The woman from the woods. Yeah, the one who freed him. She didn't look worried. The brute suddenly bit into oh, the snap. chains and it broke apart in its teeth. Those big it manly muscles. Another. another suddenly free that's a good shot Brute tore off her arm oh she didn't shriek oh she didn't yell she ow back and held out her shoulder where her arm had been ow bandages moved out of the wound and formed a new arm oh then she sent chains through the brute jesus she screamed and swiped with its vicious claws she sent more chains at the brute wrapping around its arms oh god squeezing tightly I heard bones break. Tighter than before, clearly. The brute howled again and bit the chains, breaking them, and then body slamming the girl into the Oh, snap! She Get wrecked. through the door, smashing it to pieces. The monster followed, and from the outside, we heard the sounds of the fight. Chains cutting through flesh. Ugh. Teeth breaking chains. Ugh. Howling. What's happening? Scary. The townspeople smiled and watched. A second sacrifice. Estelle walked out with the brute wrapped in chains. Oh, snap. It was covered in its own blood, writhing and in pain. Defeated. The townspeople wow. beamed. But I wasn't looking at them. I was looking at the woman from the woods who was standing behind everyone. Is she scared? I was watching her pull out some sort of box from her pocket. Something with a button. She's gonna turn off the thing! She tapped it. All the lights on all the devices that all the townspeople were wearing suddenly stopped blinking oh snap her off she went rogue successful sacrifice she went rogue one of the town's folks started to say but suddenly a chain wrapped around his neck and pulled tight he started to choke and then the chain pulled harder and snapped his neck oh the townspeople started to scream as the girl sent chains out tearing into them ow chains flew everywhere ow left and right ow running in all directions but any time the girl turned to me the masked woman would whisper, No, just the others. I saw one person start to make it for safety, but suddenly... How is he okay, though? ...leapt onto them. Oh! To their back. Then it turned to another and took a chunk out. The brute and the little girl oh! together attacked every single person from the town. Oh, my God! ...the ground and their bodies. Finally... Holy crap! Us, the brute, Estelle... How does she have control over her? The woods, well, me. them. We were the only ones standing. The masked woman walked over to the girl and said, You're finally free. You may come with me if you wish. And the girl nodded. They turned, and the door had suddenly appeared here, in front of us. It opened on its own. And as they started to walk through, I stood there, shaking. Unable to process what I had just witnessed. But maybe it was all the sacrifices from before. Or the fear of never knowing. But I managed to ask, huh, How? The masked woman turned as the girl and the brute disappeared into the door. How? Yes, how? She returned. I pointed to the small box she had held up. The one that had turned off all the security devices. No one outside of our town even knew about them. Oh, she said. She tapped her book. Someone gave this to me when I was scared. Is that a spell book? When I was feeling weak. I don't feel either of those things anymore. I've got one more hunt to do, and then I'll be finished. So if you see a woman with one arm, tell her I'll be returning her book soon. She smiled. One arm. The door closed. That that's a reference to something, and it's just completely going over my head. I can't. I can't remember what is that reference to. That that has to be something within the series, and it's just not coming to me, guys. I, I'm gonna need your help on this one. Please let me know down in the comments what that was referencing to. Oh man, I, I'm gonna feel so stupid once you guys tell me what exactly it is. Okay, well, that will do it for this one, so please leave a like. 
If you enjoyed, share this video, subscribe if you have subscribed already, or in the notification bell because I put up new videos every single day, and I will see you guys next time.